Farrell Williams' debut as men's creative director for Louis Vuitton was nothing short of spectacular, heralding a new era for the storied French fashion house. The American polymath, whose appointment was announced in February, closed down the Pont Neuf Bridge in Paris on Tuesday, where the show was held at sunset with the full orchestra, gospel choir and over 70 looks modeled by some familiar faces including designer Stefano Pilati and Pushorty and No Malice of the hip-hop duo Clips. The famous faces didn't stop their Ray Williams celebrity friends cheered him on from the front row. Among them were Rihanna, the brand's latest campaign model and a dollar AP Rocky who snuck in late, JZ who performed at the after party, Don K. Tilda Copyright, Kim Kardashian. Jared Leto, Lenny Kravitz who came with Naomi Campbell and brand ambassador Zendaya with former stylist Law Roach by her side. When Williams was named as the successor to the late Virgil Abloh, some debate ignited over the validity of his appointment and unorthodox trajectory. But while he's not a formally trained fashion designer, the 13-time Grammy winner has been shaping culture A from music and fashion for over two decades. This isn't William's first shot at design, in 2003, he collaborated with Marc Jacobs, then at the helm of Louis Vuitton, and Japanese designer Nigo on sunglasses that became one of the brand's top sellers. Other collaborations followed, Moncler, Moinat and long-standing partnerships with Adidas and Chanel including a capsule collection he designed with Chanel's late creative director Karl Lagerfeld. A Virgil was here, inside Virgil Abloh's final show for Louis Vuitton like Abloh before him, he has an uncanny knack for staying ahead of the cultural curve, redefining the zeitgeist and understanding how to market an idea to the masses. As creative director, his vision for Louis Vuitton will go beyond creating collections but also into producing fashion shows, campaigns and other content to keep the fashion house fresh and buzzy.